I'm Curtis McRae and I farm with my family at G&G Farms. We look after about 5,000 acres and we decided to get a little bit smarter about our farming. One of the ways Farmer's Edge has helped us on our farm this year especially was on our haying side which is kind of different than what you'd expect but our weather forecasting system told us we were free of rain for a whole week during what was normally a rainy season during the Red River X here. So we cut all our hay in one shot and lo and behold all dry hay for the first time this year. So variable rate's been uh, really interesting to use because at the, it's tough to tell how many pounds you're always putting down what the average is going to be but at the end of the day our yields seem to be improving and I think the big added bonus is if we have a year where we're going to have a wreck it's really good risk management instead of chasing poor acres for higher yields that aren't going to be there. So a lot of the data that's coming off the can plugs go into next year's fertilization plan especially off the combines taking the yield data is one way that we work at uh, trying to decide where fertilizer needs to go. I, I also use it a lot of times to find out uh, how much fuel is in the vehicle so I know when it's time to do a fuel run it's kind of handy that way or sometimes late at night when I want to go to bed I check on whoever is working to see how many hours they still have left in the day. So I really enjoy using the crop growth stage uh, part of the app because sometimes it's nice to know if you can take a little couple days off before you have to go spray for fusarium control so it really relaxes that way or when are you guys going to start harvest the numbers come in relatively accurate this year might be a little bit different but so far it's holding true to being close enough to, to work for making those kinds of decisions i guess my other favorite app that's used the most is the weather app every farmer needs good weather and this system seems to be relatively accurate or at least better than what I'm getting over the radio, so that's a big plus. We knew we were collecting data, but running around at the end of the year with zip drives and trying to load them onto a computer where we didn't have a very friendly system to use was a job that we weren't doing well. So that was probably one of the reasons we went to Farmer's Edge is because they were going to look after managing our data, which with the two of us, we didn't have enough time to do. And I think our, our best informed decisions from, from the can plug technology is just our fertilizer rates. That's been the big one, because the other item that we use a lot is the satellite imagery and that sometimes forces some decisions. It's been helping really good this year with uh, pre-harvest intervals knowing which field to attack first. The uh, agronomists at Farmer's Edge of San has just been a really good, a really lucky chance to happen because we've had Sergey come out to our farm and lo and behold he has his, he did his thesis on peat soils and half our farm is peat soil which is a soil type not a lot of people understand. So it's been great working with them and bouncing ideas off them and our yields on our peat soils are still improving and using way less fertilizer than we did before. Mm -hmm.